is Privateer FX. Coming at you 22 Jan, it's a Friday here. ECB was a non-event. Boy, she was she was tough to listen to. Wow. You would think she would get a little bit better at this with some practice, but man, that was a that was a bomb yesterday. Just babbling. Really nothing was said. They they kind of threatened that they were looking at the currency like wink wink, you know, that was kind of her intent, but boy oh boy. Anyway, Euro it went nowhere, you know, we we're kind of like at fifty, which been up to seventy six, traded down to thirty six. This is the E C B time. Um seventy six is holding. It's been the high quite a few times now. This is the four hourly chart. It's kind of interesting up there. So keep an eye on that. We have a little bit of risk off today, so and we have yields which are higher today, so I'm not sure why Euro would go higher. Um but something to watch up there, seventy six. Cable not loving it above one thirty seven again. Drooping back down. Um Buying low ones is the way, so wait for extended low ones, maybe even a price down below 136.23. Um, cable's not doing much. Is Dollar Swiss going to turn down here? Don't know. Again, you would think the dollar would go just a tad higher with um, equities under a little bit of pressure. We'll see. Dollar yen held up here. Little triple top pivot at 66. It's mildly interesting in in a very uninteresting way. FX vol is, is, is what you would call muted. Shit is low. Not really moving much FX these days. So be patient. Um, no, re no need to put two hands into any of these levels. Um, we have muted vol. Dollar max turned. We talked about it didn't really feel offered below 60 down there someone was commu uh, as this chart shows someone was accumulating at 55 now we're at 80 uh, bullish engulfing yesterday uh, what was the low here 54.85 what was the low here 55.17 that's just bullish it's like old-fashioned bullish dollar max so you know again like you don't want to throw two hands into this market wait for uh, Mexico City to get in the spread suck in Europe and it's really not not wildly traded during European hours, so but you want to try and accumulate this. I don't know, maybe between 75 and 65. You want to grab some dollar max. Dollars are same chart. Uh, on the hours, the hourly, as you can see, a little bit of a head and shoulders up, busting up through now. Again, uh, you want to try and buy low ones in this. Aussie. I get the feeling there was Aussie unemployment last night, but I think this is just from risk off. Um, bang. Down to 30. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't really know what the hell is going on in Aussie. Euro Aussie is quite big. Up half percent. This is Euro holding and Aussie going lower double bottom down here. I wonder what's going to happen up at 157.70. Anyone want to ring the bell up there? Once we're up there, we'll be close to a percent up on the day, so I don't know. Here's Aussie Yen. It's been a dick in a box this year, this Aussie Yen for us. A few lows here at 80.11. Um, this is just following stocks. Dollar CAD. They talked about tapering yesterday. Bang, 125.89. But the market is not really buying it, I guess. Dollar CAD and Dollar Mix. Pretty bad in a sort of like low vol type way. Gold. Man. No idea.
idea. Sell it when it looks bid, buy it when it looks offered. It's not really a trading strategy, but some people are going to draw this line here. Gold's been hectic. Up to 70. Down to 56. And it should go higher. Gold, I guess. The global macro play is higher, but who knows. Stocks did a little dance here between 37 and 52 a few times. Now we're below 37. Um, these look mildly offered at the all-time highs, so I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't get too excited about selling these, but a little pressure today. We'll see how things come together on a Friday. Obviously it's stretched. Obviously we're in sort of bubbly territory. We have Democrats at the wheel. Um, the story, in my mind, is left. But we need evidence. We need evidence that she wants to go left. That's not some wild capitulation bar yesterday. But it is kind of a turn bar. We'll see. ZB did not get paid yesterday. Uh, annoying. Shit's going lower. ZN. Same thing. Shit's going lower. Bitcoin. Yeah. Wow, broke through 30, down to 28. Typically, as it looks really offered, you want to buy this stuff. So, but we're we're waiting. We're gonna wait for 20,000. As we've said before, we dumped ours at 32.5. It's been up and down through that level a million times. We're just watching now. But Bitcoin looks a little bit a little bit dicey. Although it's nice that it's back above twenty the um, back above thirty. We'll have to see how this thing goes. Oftentimes there's fireworks um, on the weekend in Bitcoin. And crude turning. The ship is turning very slowly. Fifty three sixteen the high overnight. Now we're down at 250. Um, unusual to have that kind of move in gold in Asia, in uh, crude in Asia. This is uh, middle of Tokyo morning. Huh. She looks like she wants lower as well. We like short crude. Anyway, feeling a little bit subdued today. Not really sure uh, what we're going to do. Usually when I'm in this kind of mood, it's best to just step back, uh, smell the roses. So, I don't know. You want to buy dollar max, dollars are today. G7, don't know. Maybe sell some high ones in Aussie. Not super enthused. Anyway, hopefully you're more enthused than I am. I wish you all luck and a good trading day. Make some dough. I dare you. Um, and then also, once you've made your dough, um, have a good weekend. Ciao.